Hi everyone. It's another Monday with Mary and today I want to talk to you about expectation and attachment because the reality of the situation is is that what causes the most pain and suffering while we are dating or in relationship is the expectations and the attachments that we put on the other people involved, right? So we expect that people will behave and respond the same way that we will. And the reality of the situation is, is that that by large does not happen. Everyone has their own background. Everyone brings their own belief system, their own wounds, um, their own habits, what's worked for them in the past. And so the history that somebody brings in is completely unique and different to them, which means that it's really unlikely that somebody is going to respond to you the same way that you would necessarily respond to them. And, you know, in a dating situation, it's, it's important that you use those things and you try and stay ob objective about it and that you relinquish any sense of attachment to this person and how they are going to respond or sometimes you need to release attachment for the idea that you know this person looks great on paper and so they've got to be the one and and I've got to figure this out now how to accept this or adjust this. The dating process is when you are witnessing people's behaviors and they're not meeting your expectations, you have to self-evaluate and say, are these expectations that I'm placing on this person deal breakers? Are these expectations something that I have wiggle room in and that I can openly accept? Because if not, then this is the right time for you to release any sense of attachment about who this person could be or how great you could be together in life because these are the things I hear. But if he would just or, you know, if she would be willing to bend up. Okay, that's attaching to someone else behaving and believing and wanting to live and participate in relationship the same way that you will. And so you need to be very honest with yourself about is my expectation really reasonable? Is it something that I can be more open about? And so this does not have to be a deal breaker or or really what usually um, with the people that I work with tend to is they don't make things deal breakers that should be deal breakers. So that's how it kind of relates to the dating scenario. Once you're in relationship with someone, that idea of attachment becomes so ingrained. And, and you know, as the relationship goes on, you get to understand what you should be expecting from this person because now you're forming a history with them. Now you have background evidence and scenarios and things that have happened and you know how they responded or behaved. And so, you know, the expectation of what you can expect from them is there. And you need to be really honest with yourself about, am I really seeing them for exactly who they are? And if you've been in a relationship for a particularly long time, sometimes we just get attached to that person being our one. And we're not really opening ourselves up to the idea that, um, you know, we all grow and change. And you need a partner that's going to be able to grow and change with you. And, and it's not always at the same level. It's sometimes, you know, one person makes a bunch of steps and then the other person's a little bit further behind. But if this has been going on for a really long period of time and you see yourself growing and growing and growing, you need to identify how much attachment am I placing on this person in a unhealthy way and in an unrealistic way because the attachment to someone or having someone can bring about more pain than actually going out on your own 
and learning to have life at a different level by yourself all over again. So this is just a little bit on expectation and attachment. If you think that maybe something that has not been working for you in dating and or relationships is because of the expectations that you hold for other people or that you get too attached to to people and, and their behaviors, um, then it might behoove you to have a conversation with me. Message me, facebook.com slash B plus one, and we can have a quick conversation and see if working with me in a coaching situation might help you out. All right, everyone, have a great rest of your week, and I will talk to you soon.